Bangladesh Flying Academy celebrating its 65th year of anniversary. This presentation is dedicated to the memory of four brave sons of the soil. Captain ATM Alamgir, Captain Sikandar Ali, Captain Amirul Islam and Captain NS Haider. All students of the Bangladesh Flying Academy who sacrificed their lives for the sake of our motherland so that we can live in peace, dignity and honor in a free country. In the glorious War of Liberation in 1971, 10 daredevil pilots of the East Pakistan Flying Club and Pakistan Air Force sacrificed their all, defecting from their respective positions to join the Mukti Bahini Bangladesh Air Force and fight to liberate our beloved motherland from the clutches of the occupation forces. Group Captain A.K. Khandaka took the initiative and formed the Mukti Bahini Bangladesh Air Force. It was inaugurated on 28th of September 1971 at Dimapur in Nagaland. All these brave pilots joined the Mukti Bahini Air Force comprising of three planes, nine pilots and 60 technicians. Group Captain A.K. Khandukar meticulously planned an attack deep inside enemy lines codenamed Operation Killer Flight. Squadron leader Sultan Mahmood was operations in charge of the Mukti Bahini Bangladesh Air Force. On a dark winter night of 3rd December 1971, two planes fitted with rocket pods and machine guns one Alouet 3 helicopter flown by squadron leader Sultan Mahmood and flying officer Badrul Alam and another an Otter aircraft flown by Flight Lieutenant Shamsul Alam and Captain Akram Ahmed took off from Kamalpur and Kailashahar in Nagaland of India flying at almost treetop level to avoid enemy radar detection. They set course south towards the intended targets, the aviation fuel dumps in Goktai Khal in Chittagong and God Nile in Naranganj. Operation Killer Flight was highly successful and the two planes flew back to base unharmed. Thus began the war for the liberation of Bangladesh. Back to back on the heels of this dramatic attack by the daredevil pilots of the Mukti Bahini Bangladesh Air Force, the fighter jets of the Indian Air Force scrambled from their Eastern Command bases. Flying in formations, the Indian Air Force jets zeroed in on the final kill, their target being the occupation forces of Pakistan. For their valiant fight in the War of Liberation, a grateful nation decorated group captain A.K. Khandakar, squadron leader Sultan Mahmood, flight lieutenant Shamsul Alam, flying officer Badrul Alam, captain Sharfuddin Ahmed, captain Akram Ahmed and captain Shahabuddin Ahmed with gallantry awards of B. Ruttam, while captain Abdul Khalik, captain Alamgir Sattar and captain Abdul Mukith were decorated with Beer Pratik. Although the Bangladesh Flying Club was established in December of 1971, the then East Pakistan Flying Club was established on 10th May 1948 in the port city of Chittagong. The first chief flying instructor of the East Pakistan Flying Club was Captain Mia Rashid Ahmed. After the glorious War of Liberation, the first aircraft to fly over the skies of independent Bangladesh, piloted by Captain Abdul Rahim on 1st December 1972 at 1100 hours, was a Cessna 150 of the Bangladesh Flying Club. 
The vision of the Bangladesh Flying Club was to train commercial pilots for Biman, our national flag carrier, and it has been highly successful in this area as till today, the Bangladesh Flying Club has provided more than 95% of commercial pilots to Biman. The Bangladesh Flying Academy and General Aviation Limited is a government-sponsored, non-profit registered company managed by an executive committee. At present, the life members of the BFA is 429. The members interact with each other in a healthy, congenial and friendly atmosphere whenever they get the time over a hot cup of tea and discuss about the club's future, each trying to give their views on improving the functioning and operations of the Academy. Since 1972, the Flying Club has been functioning at an acceptable pace with four serviceable training aircraft. At one time, the club was in possession of 11 different types of aircraft, including one turboprop, two amphibians and two twin-engine 10-seater aircraft. After winning a landslide election in the year 2006, Captain Shahabuddin Ahmed and his team, inspired by the saying of President John F. Kennedy, Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country, led from the front to transform the club's activities by putting the aircrafts back into the air, which were out of commission for a long time, and went on to procure two training aircraft from its own resources, a feat never before achieved in the history of the Flying Academy, and also introduced regular private and commercial pilots license courses as approved by the Civil Aviation Authority of Bangladesh. Since then, the BFA has been producing pilots on a regular basis with the highest number of flying hours ever recorded in its history. A total of 1,769 hours flown in the year 2012, an all-time record. In all, 719 commercial pilots have graduated from this academy since 1948. 30 pilots who graduated from this academy are now flying in world-class airlines like Qatar, Emirates, Etihad, AirAsia, Saudi Arabian Airlines and Jet Airways. In the past, our graduates have also flown for Singapore, Malaysia and Korean Airlines. The intention of the executives of this academy is to keep the flying training come commercial pilots license course fees as low as possible, so that bright students coming from low to middle income families can take up this challenging profession. To help in keeping the cost of flying at an affordable level, the executives of the flying academy do not take any remuneration. In 2013, the Civil Aviation Authority of Bangladesh graciously allotted a much-needed space to the Bangladesh Flying Academy for constructing an aircraft hangar come office block at Rajshahi Airport. The Honorable Chairman, Civil Aviation Authority of Bangladesh, Air Vice Marshal Mahmood Sen, inaugurated the Hangar Complex Foundation Stone Laying Come office block ceremony. At present, our fleet consists of five training aircrafts based in Rajshahi. Our students are being provided with modern accommodation in a secure area very close to the training facility. Time has now come when we cannot remain complacent but endeavor to build on our past successes. There being a tremendous shortage of pilots worldwide, Bangladesh itself would need more than 100 pilots in the near future, considering 
the aviation boom in our country. But with the limited resources available to us at Bangladesh Flying Academy, we can at best produce only 10 commercial pilots each year. The time-honored institution of Bangladesh Flying Academy has to be modernized and upgraded to a full-fledged academy of international standard, second to none in the entire region. Only then will our dream become a reality.